Welcome to your Canva classroom, everybody. Are you enjoying all the extra lessons this week? Today's tutorial is inspired by a Canva Pro Halloween flyer. I will share with you how to create something similar for free. Let's get started on the Canva homepage. Pumpkin. We're still in October. Thought it would be fun to create something that looks like this, but in Create With Me, in the first one, I do a Canva Pro template for free. I try to recreate something. And I thought that it would be fun to do like a pumpkin carving contest. And it is eight and a half by 11. Create a design. Flyer, not that size. Custom size. Let's do eight. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Gotta change my pixels. Two inches. Eight and a half by 11. There it is, flyer. Let's type in pumpkin. Because I, there it is, right there at the top. Ooh, here's another one, huh. So this one is completely free. Halloween party. What about instead of pumpkin carving, we're gonna try something like this. It looks like that's a gradient. So what I'm gonna do, element, grid. There we go. And let's search for gradient in a photo. Ooh, that one, that one looks pretty good. I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees and slide it in. That, now let's look at our template. That's probably as good as I'm gonna get, but let's see if I can change the orange to be a little darker. Like, that. oh wait, it changes the whole thing, it's not. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. Scratch that, element. Square gradient. Okay, and we will take this, same size as the flyer. Since this will be printed, I wanna make sure that everything is on there, show print bleed. Yep, I need to stretch it out a little more. And I'm going to, I've searched orange in a color, so for the blue one, I would like a lighter color. And for this color, let's try this darker. I think that looks pretty good. We need a couple trees, element, trees. I would really like something like this. Oh, is that free? Oh, ooh, my recommendations. I'm just grabbing, remember, I like to grab a couple different things to see what I would like to best. I think I'm gonna go with that. I might use two different ones. Let's look at our template again. It looks like it's two different ones. I'm gonna get rid of this one. Take this one and sort of make it a little bit bigger and maybe rotate it a little bit. And then maybe a little more. What about this one? I need to make it larger. Maybe try to rotate it a little bit. We've got to start there. Now we need some grass. Elements. Grass. It's like a... Okay, there's some grass, but... Ooh! Okay, let's grab a couple different options. It's really dark in color. It's much darker than that. Let's, okay, let's make it bigger and see what it looks like. I think that one needs to be changed to maybe black. Go back to the template. I think that's not bad. 
the colors are probably a little off and it's going to look different because there's no curve there but i think it will be all right i think we'll make it a little bigger and then bring the trees let me see if i can nope nope we're gonna leave it like that we need a pumpkin now We'll go to graphics and we're going to try to find a good looking free one. And that's pretty good. So let's see Jack O' Lantern. So that one's free. That one's not. That one. No. I'll tell you what, we're just going to go with this pretty looking pumpkin. Sparkle. Oh, wait. I wonder if I took something like this and put it on top of it. I wish I could get rid. Let's see. It gives it a little effect without it being obnoxious. So let me change the color. Nope, it needs to be white to see it that. Ah, because my transparency is so low. Ooh, there you go. We're gonna change those colors there. Okay, what if I make it a little darker? And by darker, I mean less transparent. Let's type in sparkle and see what we got. What if we add plus circle? circle that's not bad let's see do we make it that color and shrink it let's see if we can get a better yellow there we go now a couple they're like wanting to look like bats let's see if I can see it bigger they're look a little bit like bats. I just noticed something this. It's actually not a circle sparkle. It says your logo design here, but I think my circle sparkle looks nice. Okay, and search for bats. Graphics, there's a little bat. We're just gonna make these bats. They're gonna look different than the original design anyway, but I'm gonna shrink him. Give me a transparency and duplicate them, put them over here, turn them a little bit, maybe make him not as transparent and then grab this third one and put them over here, rotate them this way. What do you guys think? Now I need some words. Let's try moving R four rectangle and we'll shrink it down in size and put it up here and then we'll duplicate it and shrink that down I selected both of them I'm gonna shrink it down a little more and then we'll make this one orange I think that's not quite orange. And this one, white. And I'm going to select that one and bring it down so that it's right on top of it and give it a date. T4 text, October, capital letters. I do want a darker orange there. I think that if I put that there, like that, I won't like it as much. Let's go here and see if I can, there we go. And now I'm gonna change this to a different font. How about, I'm gonna duplicate it so I have the same font. 
31st and I think that I'm just gonna make this instead of pumpkin carving contest just like this a Halloween party Halloween make it larger we need to find some spooky let spooky font I don't know if I type in spooky or drip there we go. What about that? Ooh. Halloween. Ooh. Free entry with costume. We will use this yellow. Uh, maybe not. Maybe that. No. Okay. We can use that. We'll just use a lift effect. Same font, so League Spartan there, League Spartan there, Halloween. Now this one has, that's as small as it will go. So I might not want to use that after all, because that's much smaller. So T for party, and it wants a cursive. don't like that. You see, this is what it's like to design with me. Okay, let's make that same color and give it the same effect, a lift. Rotated it a little bit. I think it needs to go a little smaller. That might need to go a little smaller. Position center. Position center. Position center. But I'm just putting these here so that we can um, see what I'm doing. They won't stay there. Address. select all of these and change it to white, add a lift effect. Oh, it only did it on the one. Copy style, copy style, duplicate this. Okay, now I'm gonna get rid of that. Position, center or left, or right, center, center, left. I kind of like left there. What do you guys think? I did not add come join us, but I think that looks pretty good for a free design. And then what you would be able to do is if you were printing these off, you could select PDF print and download it. All right, well, that was a create with me. Let's see, am I still recording? 26 minutes, it took me 26 minutes to do that. 26 minutes to recreate it. Are you wondering how you can customize a Canva Pro template? Will you need to convert the Canva PDF file for printing in CMYK? Join me next lesson when I answer these questions and more while creating the Canva Pro version of this flyer. Thank you so much for learning with me today. If you like this video and want to see more like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I recommend watching this lesson next. See you next time. Bye.